Hey guys, welcome back to Black Rock Nissan. No, I've not gotten out a lot of videos I'm trying to get a lot of projects done. So this is actually about four projects right here that you're looking at. And so we'll we'll see how many of those actually get completed today, but we're we're working on it. Right now, what I want to talk about is the Titan XD alternator. Well, I apologize. Clearly, I have not done a video on the Titan alternator yet, and that is one of the many videos that I've intended to do for the community and just haven't had time to do it yet. So I'm going to run through it real quick. The Titan XD alternator, emphasis on the XD, this is going to be the gas VK56 alternator, not the diesel. That's the version that you need to look at getting. It is the designation EZ30A, EZ30A. When we talk about removal and installation of the alternator, um, it is quite simple, actually. If you look here, this right here, that's the alternator right there. And that hose, that's the power steering hose. That just comes unclamped. I've unclamped it. It clamps right there. So, right there you go. So you loosen the belt, and then there's gonna be a bolt down there. There's gonna be a bolt right behind here. And this thing pretty much comes out, and it's gonna slide out. This is huge. This is a huge area. You don't have to remove the shroud. You don't have to do anything. You can take and walk it out. I mean, my hand right here. You don't even have to remove this plastic shroud or this cover. It'll come right out. So, you know, part of why I'm right here right now is because to unplug, you can access it from both sides. And that's what I did. You know, I got my hand in here and a screwdriver, you know, my, my hand on the other side to help, you know, unhook it. And that's what I did. You know, it plugs right there on the side. So electrical connector cleaner. You know, it really just requires um, a, a, the bolt from the Titan. And because uh, there's the position of the plug on the alternator is a little bit lower so you need just a tad bit like just a couple of inches of extra length and you can cut into the loom and do that that's what i ended up doing and i'll be honest with you had uh, pre-drag had this kit before that is absolutely the route i would have gone and so that is a big part of his kit is that he has now this an extension that will utilize the factory plug that's there without cutting into the loom and pulling that length out. Now, certainly you can still do that. Like I said, it's still a little tight, even, even with the extra length. But, you know, saving you from having to cut into the loom, uh, that takes time. You've got to be careful not to slice into the wires that are there. Then, of course, once you pull the wire down, you're going to have to tape that back up. And that probably cost me easily 45 minutes or an hour easy of, of work. And uh, this is 30 seconds. 30 seconds. No doubt. I would choose to pay money to save almost an hour of work for a 30 second installation. And the bolt, <clears throat> if I would have had the Titan bolt, absolutely. That's, I would have went that route as well. Pre-drag has that as part of his kit now. So if you've been hesitant to do the Titan alternator because uh, you weren't sure about sourcing the bolt, you weren't sure about cutting into the loom and pulling that extra length, that those issues have now been resolved. You can already see with the yellow zip ties, of course dirty from the off-roading, but I've got a one aught gauge power cable run. And then here you have the larger 
one aught cable that I have along with it. So this larger cable comes and runs here and up to the battery. But as you can see, you can see where it plugs in the alternator plug with that extension. You can even see, even though I have extended it, now I have a one inch body lift, and I think that's important to note, but even at just one inch, you can see how tight it is. So just kind of as a demonstration of the, pull, the, the side that it's gonna plug into the alternator, that's the clip, and clicks it, and unclips it, and it's gonna go to the rear of the vehicle. This right here is the side. <clears throat> this right here is the side that I was just showing you that clips. So we're going to want it clip into place. Click. Nice and tight. Beautiful. Now, one of the things we could do is maybe clip this into place and then clip the other side, you know, connecting it together. And there we have it. Clicked into place. Safe and secure. Plenty of slack. Love it. Just how should have been to begin with. A couple of things that really need to be talked about. You know, the extension harness is needed whether you have a body lift or not. So that's an important to keep in mind that extension is going to be beneficial regardless. You know, I've just got a one inch body lift, uh, especially if you have a two inch body lift. Now, if you have a two inch or more, probably want to talk to pre-drag to see about whether or not you need additional length on the extension. He can accommodate that. I, I have no doubt. Now, I'm speaking for him a little bit, but, um, you know, uh, I think talk to him about that. He tends to, you know, really want to uh, work with the community and help them uh, get what they need. So, the other part that is really critical is that... I upgraded my cable is because I have a lot of additional equipment specifically uh, a winch I've got additional lighting I've got a stereo system what I've done here the battery post extension you know runs from you know battery post to where it normally would and then the alternator cable the one aught cable is run under here as now I do have a uh, 200 amp fuse that goes to the one aught cable and that's the key takeaway here because that's what pre-drag has done that's really critical in setting this up properly is that he has a kit that not only has the extension so you don't have to cut into the loom and extend that harness he's got the bolt that makes it just plug and play in that regard but now he's also got the cable that allows you to run the cable that you need to carry the amperage. If, if you have an upgraded alternator that's putting out 200 amps that is 70 amps more than factory, the OEM cable is not han cannot handle that. It is not designed to handle that additional load. You need to upgrade your cable. Uh, you, you can just get that from him and set, up, set that up how you need to from the start. And certainly had that kit been available uh, when I did uh, my Titan XD, absolutely that would have been the path I would have went to just uh, you know, upgrade the alternator, which is pretty inexpensive. I got my alternator for about $90 off eBay. Uh, used it was from a junkyard but it's been fantastic it's OEM it's not aftermarket it's not remand uh, it's been fantastic no issues but uh, you know for just a little bit more money you get the cable stuff that you really need anyway you get the fuse block that you need anyway there's no point in upgrading the alternator if you're not going to upgrade uh, you know 
the cable and everything else along the way. So if you've got any questions, definitely let me know. I'd love to have a conversation about it as you guys are moving on and growing and you know what you're doing with your trucks. So uh, look forward to hearing back from you. Wanted to let you know, full disclosure, Preformance did send me the extension at no cost for a review. So I am looking at that and that's what I've done to make sure that there's proper fitment and that there's no uh, build issues or quality issues. Everything looks fantastic, quality parts and uh, construction on that. If anything changes, I'll let you know, but so far I've had uh, everything uh, installed and ins installation went smooth and without issue, no surprise. And uh, within the last week, no problems whatsoever.